and welcome to the uh, this lecture series on chemical process modeling and simulations uh, for the past few lectures we have been discussing about the conservation equations and we have been discussing the various pieces that go into the conservation equations we particularly spent a substantial amount of time on the uh, transport of momentum and particularly by the molecular momentum transport mechanism we discussed the momentum uh, molecular momentum transport uh, flux tensor which is the shear stress tensor and we related it to the uh, rate of strain tensor because of the deformation of the fluid coming from the fluid particles shearing against each other right and uh, that causes uh, the transport of molecular uh, momentum in a direction typically but not always typically tangential to the direction of flow and so we related the uh, shear stress tensor or the molecular momentum flux tensor to the rate of strain tensor and we generalized newton's law of viscosity in three dimensions and uh, now we also of course have to look at the convective momentum flux the transport of bulk transport of uh, the fluid right so what is the momentum flux associated with the convective or bulk transport of the fluid this is what we are going to discuss in this particular lecture and this also happens to have uh, this happens to be a quantity so with two associated directions and therefore this is also described by a tensor a second order tensor so you have again a 3 by 3 or 9 entities so three uh, possible directions x y z or r theta z or r theta phi depending on which coordinate system you are looking at and since for each uh, uh, flux you have a pair of directions so you will have 3 by 3 9 components and therefore you have a second order tensor we will see uh, now why there has to be a pair of directions for convective momentum flux you you would think that there is momentum along x direction there is momentum along y direction there is momentum along z direction why should there be a pair of directions what is momentum per uh, unit volume momentum per unit volume is rho into v momentum is mass into velocity and this is uh, per unit volume is rho into v this is also interestingly enough mass flux mass flux is the same as momentum per unit volume can you reason out why this should be it is it is a uh, food for thought what is the flux of convective momentum so you are looking at a quantity that is being transported and you multiply by the uh, the velocity the bulk velocity then you get its uh, flux just as rho into v is mass flux rho is mass per unit volume when you uh, multiply that quantity by v you get uh, basically mass flux right similarly uh, you get convective momentum flux as rho v v now you see there are two directions associated with it this will have um, the units kg per meter second square this quantity is also a tensor because there are two directions associated with it for example the x momentum rho v x per unit volume may be transported by convection in the x direction which is by y x or in the y direction by v y or in the z direction by v z so for example you have this x momentum which is rho v x per unit volume now what is happening is suppose you have a bend of a pipe which basically results in uh, uh, you know there is a 90 degree bend and that ultimately what what fluid was flowing in the x direction now flows in the y direction now all this x momentum which was rho v x now it is being transported in the y direction by v y now there is a v y that is non zero that transports that x momentum rho v x the bulk momentum along the y direction and therefore you have a rho v x v y term that comes up that uh, describes this momentum transfer bulk convective convective momentum transfer so similarly there are nine terms for this tensor rho v x v x rho v x v y rho v x v z 
so this is rho vx transported in the uh, i direction in the j direction in the k direction similarly for rho vy and for rho vz so let us look at some examples so here you um, have a, a mixer this is a y junction that we saw in the very first lecture when we looked at a, a, a case study uh, where we started this course off with this y junction mixer so here if you look at the um, the uh, the momentum coming in all right through f1 and through f2 now <clears throat> the net flow is along the x direction and therefore this has a x component for the bulk momentum this also has a x momentum uh, x component of the bulk momentum now this is both these both are in the plus x direction because plus x is along this direction so you have a rho vx here and you have a rho vx here now if you look at the y momenta because this these two uh, um, uh, components these two arms of the y are at some angle to the x axis so there is definitely a y momentum as well now if you look at the y momentum this is this uh, fluid coming in through f1 is actually moving in the negative y direction if you resolve this uh, 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 vector you will have a plus x and a minus y right and therefore you will have a momentum in the minus y direction so you will have a minus rho vy vy is negative and again so here you you see again if you resolve this uh, vector you will have a plus uh, x and a plus y component so you have a uh, plus uh, uh, positive uh, quantity of y momentum that is rho vy so you have these momenta and then finally all of this once they are mixed and they are flowing out there is only momentum in the x direction there is no longer any momentum in the y direction which means basically what has happened is that you have a rho vx that is being transported along the x direction now which is coming from both these and you have rho vy all right this in the negative direction this in the positive direction both of which are now being transported along the x direction so you will have these convective momentum flux terms rho vx vx and rho vy vx so now some other uh, examples are given all these examples have been taken not all of them some of them have been taken from birds to what life force transport phenomena the relevant problem is listed here right so here is a creeping flow entrance into a slot now far far into the slot once the flow is fully developed you have a parabolic velocity profile the convective momentum flux is along the x direction and there is molecular momentum transport along the y direction plus y as well as minus y directions right however if you were to look at what is the momentum transport in in this region right so where the flu fluid is sort of entering creeping into this small slot thin slot right so flow of a liquid into a slot from a semi infinite region which is given by x less than 0 this is your origin x equal to 0 and that is your plus y direction this is your minus y direction now this is x less than 0 in the values of x positions of x less than 0 now what are the relevant terms now i would like for you to think about this and come up with appropriate uh, answers you can look at the uh, velocity profile that has been given in this problem by uh, birds to at lightfoot and then you can infer what should be those terms and of course they ask uh, they ask you if i recall correctly to evaluate this convective momentum flux tensor terms in in this particular problem 3b7 another example wonderful example is from um, uh, fluid mechanics in engineering problems for undergraduate students this is a book engineering problems for undergraduate students and that's a book chapter and um, here is a very simple problem this is a problem that you've seen before so this is basically a u tube right fluid flows in through here and then goes out through this so suppose this is your plus x direction this is your minus y direction all the convective momentum is along the plus x direction at the inlet and then through a bend when the fluid exits 
all the convective momentum is in the minus y minus x direction sorry all right so in between if you look at the convective momentum flux that is definitely convective momentum flux both in the x and the y directions right so if you neglect the entrance and exit regions where the fluid flow is nicely stabilized and this is only in plus x and that is only in minus x what are the relevant terms for convective momentum flux now this is another problem that you should uh, try and think about and try and see if you can uh, come up with appropriate uh, terms that you can use in the convective momentum flux tensor the next example is the example of a coil which is basically a helical coil right so there is uh, actually there is a pair of coils if, if you can you can see there is an external outer set of coil um, which has a, a, a you know a half inch dia okay that goes this way right and then the inner one set which is a 3 8 inch dia that goes inside but okay neglecting this entrance regions and similarly there should be some exit regions at the bottom right neglecting those in this curved uh, region this helical uh, coil region all right now what are the appropriate momentum flux convective momentum flux components that you will you will uh, you will consider all right so this is of course uh, you know uh, this is a tricky problem because now there are you know this is a cylindrical coordinate system you have a um, you have a center here and then you have a radius here and then you go through the cylinder except the the so called axis of the cylinder which is you know typically indicated by z it is not all always a straight line it is curved it is curved by a certain curvature and that curvature is given by another axis here all right whose center is somewhere at the center of this whole uh, coil the midpoint and the axis along the axis and then there is a radius some other radius which is given by 15.5 centimeters maybe minus some uh, the dia basically and whatever clearance there is you will have to account for all of that and so that is the the uh, sort of diameter or the radius of curvature all right of the uh, pipe section which is basically your steel pipe section uh, right and and then therefore that determines how this z is being curved so now which is the coordinate system that you will use will you say that my origin is here or will you say that my origin is here right this is something that you have to determine first and either way you have to then say uh, the two coordinate frames are obviously related so you can you should be able to um, transform one coordinate into another coordinate all right um, so uh, you know either way you you have to take a call which one is more convenient and then you have to look at what are the convective momentum components that you will you will consider all right when you uh, when you uh, write the convective momentum flux tensor so with that we come to uh, the end of this uh, short uh, lecture now i hope you understand that in all of these problems that i've given these are specific problems where uh, a certain uh, bulk momentum that is being transported in one direction that is coming from one direction is now transported to a different direction for many of the chemical engineering flow problems this is not the case flow through a spray pipe or flow between two parallel plates or flow you know various flow fluid flow problems uh, there is only one direction so you along which the um, the uh, convective momentum transport happens and uh, there is typically one direction along which molecular momentum transport happens but in this particular type of problems you see some complications where you you see why you need a, a tensor quantity of which which the pair of directions to associate uh, with convective momentum flux all right uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, listening to this lecture 
uh, if there are any questions that you have as always you can um, contact me either um, on the on the youtube channel or you can um, email me or otherwise contact me i will be very happy to help uh, you you know get your questions clarified all right thank you very much so you have a wonderful day